hell is coming to Alabama against Judge Roy Moore. Allegations of sexual assault and partisan politics are driving headlines in Alabama. He removed my clothing. Uh, he left the room and came back in wearing his white underwear. It's a bitter war for public opinion, with Roy Moore at the center of it all. He totally denies it. He says it didn't happen. For weeks, the Republican candidate for Senate has faced allegations that he pursued several girls and young women when they were between the ages of 14 and 19, and he was in his 30s. Embattled Republican Senate candidate Roy Moore. He's accused of sexual misconduct with teenagers. With only weeks left okay. before Election Day, the okay. three biggest newspapers in Alabama delivered an unusually clear message. Roy Moore should be rejected by the voters. Note, the company that owns all three newspapers placed that message not on the editorial page, but on the front page. Did that cross a journalistic line, one that could backfire on the news media in general? Michelle Holmes is vice president of content at the Alabama Media Group. So, Michelle, let's start with the decision to put that editorial on the front page, not a decision normally taken. Why do it this time? We had a statement to make as an organization and as an institution. We had a statement to make about right and wrong. Uh, we believe that people of Alabama do not want Roy Moore. We believe that we had an opportunity to really push, um, push this issue out into the both spotlight here in Alabama and the spotlight nationally. And, and so we made the decision to put the editorial well labeled as an editorial as our view of the ale.com and the Birmingham News editorial board and put it at the very top of the newspaper. But you know that there are lots of critics of the news media who believe that we all have a liberal bias, that we're all working from the same handbook. Has this just given them ammunition, ammunition when you take a position and you put it on the front page? They have all the ammunition that they want. Uh, look, the allegations of fake news is a daily uh, Twitter rant from the President of the United States. Um, there are so many people in this country right now who uh, have a preconceived idea of what the media is. We know what we're doing. We know that we're standing for both editorial truths and justice in Alabama and also for facts. So I think the people of Alabama are actually smart enough to know the difference. But having taken this position, have you have you blurred the line? Once you put an editorial there, do people then walk away wondering what they're looking at every morning? We believe that this message is far more important. This message is actually trying to mobilize Alabamians on the side of justice. Um, and that's that's what we're doing. What kind of response has this gotten from the journalists in your newsrooms? As a whole, the journalists in our newsrooms have been supportive of the stand that we as a news organization are taking to both make our voice and our institutional opinion known, and also to give them the freedom to aggressively report on this story, to aggressively report on both Senate campaigns, to aggressively report on these issues, and to say that we believe these women in an editorial while they can go and independently verify facts. Uh, they understand what's happening here, and, and many have thanked me. Now, there are supporters of Roy Moore, not just in Alabama but elsewhere, who would say, look, he hasn't been convicted, he hasn't been charged, these are allegations. Is it right for a newspaper to take a position based on that? This isn't a court of law. We're not sentencing with any editorial Roy Moore uh, to anything. We're offering our own opinion based on the facts as we see them, the facts as our reporters have been able to discern. Um, this is a matter of right and wrong. This is a matter of how voters look at the information that they have to make their decisions. This is the American democratic system. Uh, you don't need a jury and a judge to have a point of view as a voter, nor do we as an editorial board to take a point of view. Michelle, thank you for this. Thank you.